The dazzling Miss Queen is on a heist. Is that bat tied up front? Yes, it would seem that she has all the time in the world to carry out her diabolical schemes. Her first thought is to pour green acid on the safes. But which safes will she fill up with this amount of liquid? Which safes will be filled up? It looks like there's only enough liquid for two safes. But which ones will fill up? The two safes at the lower far ends will be filled up. Too bad there isn't enough liquid left for the rest of them. Miss Queen is an artist and she loves everything that shines. Her favorite material is fluorescent paint. Perfect for hiding messages. The bank safes containing the number 8 are wired to special alarm systems. Miss Queen wants to tag all the numbers 8 with her special paint. The safe numbers run from 1 to 100. How many times does the number 8 come up? The number 8 appears 20 times on the safes. We sure hope she has enough paint to finish her masterpiece. Right in the middle of the robbery, her smartphone buzzes. One of her girlfriends sent her a mysterious message. I have a head and a tail, but no body. What am I? A coin! Oh, between partners in crime, there's always time to crack a joke. Her friend Cat informs Miss Queen that her facial composite has been broadcast. <laughs> Miss Queen is furious. The sketch has five huge mistakes. Find the five mistakes. Man, these guys got it so wrong. How can anyone forget a woman like Miss Queen? Head up to the main event of the evening. Miss Queen is going for the biggest door. Luckily, a watchman left himself a password hint, but she still has to crack it. The sum of the four digits is 13. The thousands digit is two times the units digit, and the hundreds digit is three times the tens digit. The code is 6313. Okay, so I guess Miss Queen has another way of solving riddles. Now she can take all the money from the safe, unless... Miss Queen's nose is bleeding. It's a small victory. After all, precious metals can be found in blood. Which metal do you think Miss Queen might like? It's up to you to do the research and give us the answer.